It was pretty exciting to play with Tyrell. We entered a couple of uh, events and did quite well. We went to Toronto um, and Portage. And so Nationals was only our third event together last year. And uh, we just kind of got on a roll. And uh, he's such a great partner. So patient, so understanding. His knowledge of the game is just unbelievable. And of course, a great sweeper, which helps for me because I don't really sweep a lot. Um, and uh, just um, totally trusting in each other. Was, and, and just a great week, which, which you have to do. You have to have, uh, get on a roll and have a good week. So. Easy. Easy. Four are sitting there. The question now becomes, can they get those two yellow out? No. Yes, you, right here. The five. This is going right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is, I'm just hammering this nine tenths. This pops out the side and, go, and takes this one here. I don't know. That's the only shot. The shot is, not, I can't do that shot. It's jamming here. So how do you think this is going to get out? This is jamming here. No, I'm catch because it's redirecting and I'm catching it here. It's still dragging. There's no so. other shot. You see another shot? Yeah, I think if you, ha if you hammer this, it might come off of here. I guess this is probably the easier shot. If you hit this hard right on the nose, just paper that sideways over the top. No chance. I don't see no chance of that one, to be honest. <laughs> There's zero yes, chance of this one. one. Of the no shots, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is Great all discussion. Day. Two no chances. Which no I mean, chance will we get? Top, you get your shooter then. I'm gonna hammer this. It's just redirect to you. Have to side with Nancy on this one. I really like the option Nine. she's showing. I do agree. It's probably the only one. It's no give me by any I chance, but uh, this is not makeable either, so I don't mistake. feel as uh, Nancy says, if you clip that back yellow with jams all day, you need to move it all the way out because your that other that stones are over in the uh, in the twelve foot. You smash it. Just take a look at the angle. I mean it's tough, but you're gonna definitely get it on this side. Okay. But take a look at it. It's not going. Okay, then play the shot you want to play. Well, it's not going. It's no, play the shot you want to play. I, I don't I don't care. Okay. Just play the shot you want to play. I'm going to get your opinion after this one, Johnny. I don't think this I think i got to come this way just to help pull it this way. This is dragging right in, but yeah, go for it. Let's do it. Neither shot is there, so. All right, John Morris is here to join me. Uh, Rachel's off with family with her baby right now, so I'll give her that space and time. And John, maybe give us a bit of an overview of that game. It was a very tight game there, lots of opportunities. I know that a uh, few misses, but uh, obviously a few made shots too. Yeah, it was uh, quite a struggle. Um, you know, that's, uh, I was joking after the game, that's probably as bad as you can play a game and still, still win, but uh, we got very fortunate. Uh, we probably were outplayed considerably by uh, Ty and Nancy. They played a really good game. And, um, and yeah, we just struggled a little bit picking up uh, you know, our releases and, and the ice was we struggled a little bit and um, kind of got away with uh, with you know uh, just making enough shots to, to hang in there. We hung in there, hung in there, and and then uh, finally put a, a few ends together at the end. I think that uh, seventh end was key. That was probably our best end uh, for uh, you know the power play defense. That's always a huge end, right? To not give them. We were up two, and if we gave them two or three right back there, that would have really changed the, the momentum again. So that was our best end and. Uh, uh, hopefully something we can build on to come out a little stronger out of the gates uh, this next one. Yes, and I mean, certainly our fans were treated to a wonderful tutorial on mixed doubles. It's so good with the players mic'd up and them talking through all of those uh, options. Uh, it really gives them a great sense of what you're thinking and what you're looking to play. But let's go back to 7 and 8. I mean, obviously 7 there was. Uh, you had mentioned it to Rachel before you threw the last shot that you thought they would play that in off for multiples if you missed the shot. You missed it, certainly Nancy did, and very unfortunate there to rub you in yeah. for two and make it harder. Yeah, and you know what, with this mixed doubles, uh, you know, even up four, you're not safe, as you could see in the last end. So, so uh, yeah, that extra point was was, uh, was key. Uh, very, you know, that was, I, I think we, it's interesting because when it came down to indiv individual shots, we didn't have the curling dogs on our side because we obviously make a lot, and we had a few, few picks uh, there that, that hurt us. But then when it came to karma, 
it just seemed like we had the, the right side of, uh, of the lock when it came to the overall perspective because, uh, you know, we just managed to, to get a few breaks and, uh, uh, and just at the right time. So that's, that's kind of uh, not, not a game we'd want to we replicate, I'll tell you that much. So we're going to try to regroup here and come out uh, a little bit, little bit sharper in the next one. Well, before you let you go, we've got to give our audience the answer. Tyrell said he didn't think that shot was there. He was going to ask you after the game, John, what would you have played? Uh, I don't want to put on the spot off sure. Nancy Hold and Ray Curler. That shot probably was there. But if you were throwing at you and Rachel, uh, what well, do you, you know think? What? And tell us why. I think that um, if you're Kevin Pugh and you can, and you have the ability to throw maybe a four-second heel, which is almost impossible, but uh, that's what uh, the shot Ty was talking about. If you uh, if you nose it and you shave that one over the top with an absolute bullet, then it could be for fun. If you, uh, but you know the shooter might have, uh, yeah, you know it could have been for fun. But the one Nancy tried, I think, was there for four. I think she would have been, uh, you know, I think there was one. It was going to jam on that one in the back twelve. But it w- could have been there for four. If she hits it a little thinner with more weight, I think it's there for four. And then we're going extra and, and uh, not feeling great giving up a four ender. So. You know, it's um, as I said in McDouble's, McDouble's view, you can't uh, run and hide anywhere. And, uh, you know, we, we, we started hitting that last end and it almost got us into some, some glue, but I don't know what else we really do except we just got to make shots. And, and we uh, kind of made a couple of half shots, and all of a sudden, you know, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're in a little bit of a heat there. So, um, yeah, it was a well played game by Nancy and Ty. They, they probably deserved that one. Uh, we got a bit fortunate. That shows you what happens to mixed doubles. Anything can happen. A chance for four against one of the top teams in the world. So, yeah, made it for a very entertaining game. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, John. I know you've got to go and get ready for your next game. Really appreciate you taking the time, sharing the insight, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it.